With controversy raging in Victoria over the extent to which doctor-prescribed opioids are being diverted into the street trade, we hit the streets of Vancouver Friday to find out what was really happening. Dilly. We overheard drug dealers shouting, Dillies, the slang word for Dilaudid or hydromorphone, which is one of the drugs the government has encouraged doctors to prescribe as safe supply to those suffering from addiction. In addition to sellers, we had a lot of people ask us if we had dillies, appearing to indicate an open and robust aftermarket for the powerful opioid. So here's what happened. It took us about half an hour on East Hastings Street, and we were able to buy 26 tablets. We're told this is hydromorphone, also known as dillies, also known as Dilaudid. A lab later confirmed the pills were, in fact, hydromorphone. Some were still in the package, which doctors say looks like government safe supply pills. Total price, $30, a little more than a buck a pill. The government at that time actually said that we were fear-mongering and that this wasn't happening. BC United MLA Eleanor Sturko says our lunchtime score is evidence the program is in trouble. That many fentanyl users are clearly trading or selling the pills, putting other people at risk of addiction and overdose. When you start seeing a harmful drug circulating and this easy to obtain, this easy to obtain, that there is insufficient safety measures in place. But others say it's too soon to write off the program. The Ministry of Mental Health and Addiction said Friday that the safe supply program is working and that the vast majority of it is not diverted. An addiction survivor, Guy Felicella, said lives have undoubtedly been saved because of it. The opposition has blown it out of proportion to think that we've just handed out drugs to everybody for free. That is not the case. As for the drugs we bought, we dropped them at the police department for safe disposal. In East Van, Paul Johnson, Global News.